When we moved to Raleigh, this neighborhood was very appealing. It's easy for us to get to restaurants, easy for us to get downtown. I mean, I think it's been such a great place for us. But while we've been here, we've also gone from a family of four to a family of five. While their three-bedroom 1950s home worked fine at first, things have gotten tighter as their sons Wally, Wit, and Andrew have gotten older. I think the boys just need more room. And, and I think we as a family need more room. I love that we're all together in this cozy home. We can find a new home in a neighborhood nearby. I'm just gonna be honest, I'm not moving. <laughs> what do you need from me to get you to move out of this house? If I'm gonna move, I need an open concept main floor, an updated kitchen, mm -hmm. four bedrooms, three bathrooms, okay. a master suite with a walk-in closet, a bonus room for the kids, and we would love to stay in a similar neighborhood. What's the budget for the new house? $675,000. Listen, it's gonna be a challenge because neighborhoods like this are very expensive. I'm interested to see what you find. She's interested. She's being polite. <laughs> David, I have faith in you. Thank you. Okay, so there's no question that you're bursting at the seams here. I know what I think your priorities might be, but Tell me what your list is to stay. I'd like to improve the front entrance, renovate and open the kitchen, enlarge the sunroom, create a walk-in master closet, update the upstairs bath and fix the plumbing, fix the heating and cooling issues in the house, and create an additional kid's bedroom. All right, so what's my budget? $115,000. Wow, okay. And that's a lot of money to be willing to put into this home, but the question is whether that's enough, which means they should move. Which means that money's gonna go really fast. But I do think it's enough to be able to change the function of this house and beautify it. Great. And I think that when I'm done, you're gonna love it. You think that's gonna happen, honestly? I think, William, you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna find you that four bedroom house with the extra space. And the only thing you're gonna say about this house is listed. I have total faith in you, Hillary. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's the problem straight away. We come in and we're jammed up to the staircase, having said that I can't move the stairs. But what I am gonna do is get rid of this hall closet. All right. Gone. This wall leads to the kitchen, so this wall is coming down. So now we're open here. This will all be demolished completely. Coming along here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the sink out of there, I'm gonna put it into a new, much bigger island. I'm gonna take the stove and I'm gonna sink it in here. So now we get into the sunroom. I'd like to be able to extend out as far as the patio, which will now make this a massive room, right? And that okay. will give me room for anything that they want. Uh, so what's next on the plan? So, master bedroom. Looks perfect. Well, it's not perfect because they want a walk-in closet. The only thing I can come up with is to still use this wall and then build out probably about five, even six feet, but that will come into this doorway. Uh -huh. So then I'll just change the access into the bathroom, which is great, right? Except, go take a look and you'll see it presents its own problems. Oh, but Hillary, you have vanities on both sides. So really, they just have to make a decision. They're either going to get a walk-in closet and remodel the bathroom or leave things the way they are. Absolutely. I know. Now wait till you see what we have to do upstairs. Oh. So what am I in store for up here? Let's start with the bathroom. That doesn't look that bad. Well, it's a bit tight in here, but they don't use this bathroom at all because all the plumbing just isn't working. I'll have to look into it. Okay. You got it. What's next? This room was shared by the two youngest brothers. The older brother has his own bedroom, but they're growing. So what are you trying to tell me? Well, I have to find an extra bedroom. Uh. So, right here, this wall, I want to square it up and go on out with a big dormer. That gives me two really decent-sized bedrooms. You got it. Pick right? up six feet. Yeah. But with all the extra square footage that's being added to this home between upstairs and downstairs, a heat loss calculation is going to have to be done now. I already have an issue with HVAC because the homeowners are not getting enough cooling up uh, into the second floor. So I'll get back to you on how the existing system is and if anything needs to happen. Okay, that's great. So that once we get into the kitchen, I'm going to take the sink out and I'm going to flip it into the island, which is going to be way, way bigger. And I'll probably bring this counter back too, so we've just got more flow. Okay. We're talking about a completely new kitchen, that okay? Because we yes. need that. Yes. Yes. And then that brings us to the sunroom. Concept is to do an extension out. It will be a substantial increase in space. That sounds wonderful. Okay, so sounds let's awesome. think. What about the laundry room? 
The laundry room. What? What about well, the laundry room? Well, so the laundry room is used for washing, but all of the folding of the laundry happens in the master bedroom. There's just no space in there for that. OK, so you never mentioned that to me. Is there anything you can do to help solve that problem? I'll look into it for sure. OK. Yeah. Talking about your master bedroom, you right. wanted a walk-in closet in there. Yes. Can be done, but it would require some additional demo and construction in your bathroom because I have to change the access where the vanity is now. That would now become your new access into the bathroom. So what you're telling me is that we cannot have a walk-in closet in the master without substantially impacting the master bathroom. It's the only way you can have a walk-in closet there. I, I don't think it's worth it. But I, I do think we need more closet space. Is there any way we can get more closets in there? Obviously, if I can give you more space, I'm going to do it. OK. So let's go upstairs. So now let's talk about three boys and that you honestly need another bedroom. So here's the solution right now. It's to take that wall right there, dormer out, to create two bedrooms. Right. Yeah. Basically, with everything we've talked about, I think that we've hit all the function issues. My problem is the budget, because right. 115000 just isn't going to cover all of this. Now, uh, priorities, because the two biggest items are doing the dormer mm -hmm. here to get an extra bedroom, or the extension in the sunroom, because honestly, I can't do both, unless you've got more money. OK, no more money, but what's the call? I mean, I think the bedroom is, is definitely more important. I mean, that's what I would have chosen, too, because without the bedroom, I don't think you could think of this house as a long-term right. home. Which is great, but I just think we're going to need that extra bonus space if this house is going to work for us long-term. I don't know. Maybe David can get that for us. I'm sure he can. But you know what? I'm dealing with this house, not what David can find. OK. The HVAC system yes. that is currently in the house is good. Oh, fabulous. Yes, it's actually oversized for the house, and that's the reason that it's straining. That's weird. I've never heard of that before. Well, there's not enough vents for the air to come out. Adding a new dual thermostat and some new vents, the air will flow more freely, and it's good to go. There's no need for a secondary unit upstairs. Such great news. I just saved how much? Uh, about $6,000. Fabulous. This next house for William and Ashley is exactly what they wanted, a nice walkable neighborhood close to theirs. And the house is 3,000 square feet, four bedrooms, three bathrooms. It's got an amazing open concept main floor. This is going to be a good one. Five minutes from your it house. It did not take long to get here. Not at all. What do you think? Oh, good. Wow. You've got shops down this way. So Fantastic. it gives you that sort of walkability factor that I know you guys really we love. We do like that. Come on. Let's good. see it. Come on in. Now, this Whoa, is man. awesome. Now, I'm not sure if this is enough open concept for you guys. <laughs> you tell me it's if I've open. missed it. Of course, I love the space, but I like the style too. Yeah, I mean, this is just so nice, David. Oh, great. Oh, uh, this would be great. Four piece bathroom on the main level. So New this goes nice. with one of the bedrooms. This, this is bedroom. going to be a kid's bedroom. That is not ideal to me. Right. Okay, let's head upstairs. Okay. Bedroom number one up here. Oh, yeah. This is great size. And there's a bedroom next door that's identical to this one. Great. Gosh, great. OK. Oh, Second okay. floor laundry. Ah, this is great. This great. is great. Right where the bedrooms are. Right. Not part of the mudroom. Ready to see the master bedroom? Yes. yes. Why don't you guys just walk in and have a oh, look? Gosh. <laughs> wow. This will work. I'm trying to gauge which one of you loves this more than the other. You can't quite tell who loves it. It's hard not to love it. Yeah. Let's have a look at the bathroom. Isn't this beautiful? This is yes. beautiful. Great. Nothing not nice about it. No. Now, lastly, okay. storage right around the corner. Mine's going to go boom. Wait for it. Have a look. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this is legitimately like another bedroom. Wow. This is unbelievable. I this is kind of like a cherry on the top of this incredible golly. Sunday. You done good. But the one thing I feel like that's missing from right. this house is a bonus room. Yeah, it doesn't have a bonus space, but it has so much more. What do you think this house is listed at? $800,000. OK, what do you think? $800,000. Your budget is $675,000. This house is listed at $730,000. Wow. Okay. 
still would be a stretch, but yes. um, I'm surprised. Yeah. And you guys wanted a walkable neighborhood. We did. And this has that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Close to our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great. Oh my gosh. It just oh, opens yeah. right away. Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh. I don't know what to say. This is grandma's table. My grandmother's dining room table. You really did a fantastic job. It's so much more open than I thought it would be. This is I could incredible. not ever picture this. It's hard to believe this is the kitchen you originally had. It is a game changer. I feel like I have walked into a different home. This is fantastic. There is seating for a lot of people in here, and nobody could sit in here before. You've got brand new windows in this area. Yeah, you really did a good job, despite the limitations of not being able to go out. There we go. Let's take a deep breath, because there's lots more to see. All right. Thrilled with that room. All right, here we go. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. This is wonderful. Such a surprise. Laundry bins, folding area. Oh, it's great. And you. I might get my master bed back. I had not even given thought to this. Well, I hadn't given it any thought until I managed to pick up a little bit of extra money. Great. And it was just enough to make this happen. Want to move on? Sure. For your master, we took some space and moved your door over. You'll see why. Oh my goodness. Uh -oh. This feels like a different room. So take a look at your new closet. OK, uh I can't wait. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. That is a great use of that space. I mean, this is exactly what I was hoping for. I good, love good, it. Good. Yeah. All right, great. let's go. Oh, this is great. Oh, uh, this looks great. You remember, we did have to steal space. Right. But this is awesome. This is fantastic. All that the boys need. Want to move on? Sure. Oh, this is great. It just it looks great. It looks natural. This is cozy and comfortable. It does yeah. not look yes. jammed at all. Yeah. Bedroom number one. Let's go look at the other one. I mean, I love it. All for it. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh. That's awesome. This is a room to grow into, just as the other one is. This is the perfect size. Looks beautiful. Look at the height of the ceilings. Yeah. That's yes. what makes this into yes. an incredible room. You really did a fantastic job. I'm glad to hear it. Hillary was able to renovate and open up their kitchen and main floor add a new bedroom upstairs, and fix their issues with HVAC and plumbing. However, she was not able to give them a true walk-in master closet or add the extension to their sunroom. David was able to find them a house in a walkable neighborhood nearby with an open kitchen and living room, big master bathroom and closet, but one of the kids' bedrooms was on the main floor and there was no bonus room. Okay, so decision made. We've made a decision. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We are going to list it. Yes. Were you nervous or something? No, not at all. I'm just excited. <laughs> That's a surprise. I just think that there were things you were never going to get out of this house that David was able to show us. Absolutely, no question. And I'm just surprised that you're leaving this neighborhood. I know. But he found us a neighborhood that feels very similar and within walking distance of things that we love. So uh, it just, it made sense. Congratulations. Thank you.